Ahoy, mine fellers! Welcome to the resting place of the sisters. And hey, look, the box is open because I already came here! <laughs> oops! I mean, okay, well, now I'm just really doing a big oops. Hey, look at that almost completed map of half of the game. Hold on a second. What the heck? There's a little space up the side here that I didn't know about. Did I really? Oh, you know what? No, 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 never mind. That's where the church is. The church is locked. I found out. Um, I may not have had to uh, uh, reset the game, but I think I did because now this is open and I got uh, this incomplete scapular. Half of a scapular with an FG of the twisted one that hangs on the end of a fine crimson cord. Those words, almost worn away by the repeated caresses of zealous fingers, are carved into polished wood. Even at a distance, we are together always. Esdras. Wow. That's nice. Um, but anyways, that's not as important as this other cool thing that I found. Uh, this good old The Crown of Knot Iron. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Oh, boy. Kind of. But anyways, that's what I found um, up here. But that's not important right now. We're gonna... When did I die? And where did I die? Where and when did I die? How did I die? What's the dead? Oh, God. Why do I have to die places? Oh, well... Uh, we're gonna be doing something today that I never do. You want to know what that is? It's going to be visiting a confessional. That's right, fellers. Freaking Thus Spoke Kishibe Rohan, episode 6, at a confessional. That's uh, a reference that I definitely had to make. Absolutely. So anyways, I have to go up. All right. I've been having a lot of fun lately. Just in general. I haven't been doing much of anything, so basically everything is intriguing to me. Um, that's kind of sad to say out loud, but, you know, it's just one of those things. Take my guilt away! Why did it take my health away? Did that happen? No, I was seeing the black thorns being taken away from... Anyways, let's not worry too much about it. Let's go! Let's freaking go! But yes, I want to say I've completed everything in the first half of the game now. And, um... I really wish that I had read up more about the DLC, because I could have spared myself a bit of running around later because of stuff that's down here that I could access. I didn't know that! And for now, let's just go to the Bridge of the Three Calvaries. Yep, that's what it is. We gotta talk to Esdras! Esdras, yes, my man! I know you are there. Even if I can't see you, hear my plea. Yes. After your departure, it is now my turn to prove I'm deserving of our captain's trust. I will not fail, Chris Santa. Hey, she's the lady that the beat the crap out of me. I let the penitents through this door. Uh, your guard, penitent one. What? Hold the phone. Oh, hey. There we go. Ah, that elusive light. Yes. I don't want to fight you, pal. It can't be her. It is her, as a matter of fact. Is that true, sister? Yes. Is this really the sublime light of your virtue? What a siscon. So, anyways, you have received the much esteemed and blessed favor of my sister. With her blessing, she has given you the ability to hear her noble voice. Full of grace. See, without the context of his sister being some, like, high-ranking religious figure, this is really awkward to hear. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you, Esdras. I'm glad that I don't have to fight you. Meet me in the chapel where guilt was given shape. Absolutely, I will. Where you were anointed the penitent one, and where you knelt for the first time. Oh? 
It will be in this remote place that my sister will hear my plea and will send her voice to me once again. Well, I suppose we're going back to the Brotherhood today then, brothers. How many tears? Thank you, Estrus. I'm glad that I don't have to beat the crap out of you because you're basically my least favorite sub-boss. Then again, I'm going to have to beat the crap out of a bunch of Estrus wannabes. Let's all be honest here. This is um, what he was talking about, right? This best be the place he was talking about because it would be really awkward if this wasn't the place he was talking about. Um... Because, uh, uh, you know, that would be uh, really awkward. But at the same, it's like, I'm thinking two different places. He talked about the place where guilt was giving shape. And it makes me think of the, the, uh, not the citadel. Just that space in the middle of Mother of Mothers where the, the gnarled tree and the, the body of the sun or whatever. You, you can tell how much I care about the lore here. <laughs> I always figured that I wasn't going to be doing any like lore readings because that was just going to be a bit too much for me and a bit too much for what I would consider interesting. But even this is a bit... I think I might be going the wrong way here. Probably don't see why this would be going the right way, let's all be honest. But another thing, I'm sure glad that uh, you can upgrade the, the uh, what, what am I talking about? You can upgrade the shrines after fighting the first boss, the first main boss. I forgot about that, but hey, the, hey, this is open now. Isn't that nice? Well, come on then. Oh, hey, look, the man's bell thing. But anyways, let me continue. I'm actually going to finish a thought for the first time in my YouTube career. I'm very glad that the church was open, because I knew immediately to go in and uh, give a fair amount of money to the church, because then I could fast travel. And I wouldn't have to worry about walking around a whole heck of a ton. Which sucks, because, I mean, that was after I did, like, basically full map completion. <laughs> But hey, I'm not going to really be complaining all that often. Or all that much or anything like that. Sup, dude? Hey! It's the lady from the beginning. How quaint. The voice of my sister. May the glorious protector. Recited verses to me as tender as they were wise. Her words revealing a different destiny. Oh! Further away, although not in distance. Woven in shadows, but full of light. How contradictory. I've been guarding this key for a long time. Interesting. Key grown from twisted wood. It will open the door behind which lies that which the holiness itself condemned to eternal reclusion. Huh. And yet you're just the, the general owner of such a thing. You're not even the captain. I no longer have the power or the words to describe it. This is a great DLC. Head for the library of the negated words. There you'll find the keeper of keys. Though the one I am entrusting you with is missing from his connection. I would hope so. Yes, I, well, we wouldn't need the DLC if if not. Head for the light. Okay. Just making sure he don't have anything interesting to say. You know what I could really do? <laughs> Since I get all my fervor back when at a shrine anyways. Anyways. So another cool thing is uh, this entire area down here that I just straight up didn't know about and you can access before even fighting a boss and you can actually get to it um, moderately easily well I guess not you have to go through Hondo but this isn't like the hardest place to get in Hondo I want to say Echoes of Salt was like the first area I went to 
besides Hondo itself. But anyways, we're gonna be we're gonna be we're gonna be seeing the Red Man today. All right, and then I'm gonna come back when I'm gonna come back when something else interesting happens. Probably for an episode explaining this place and probably exploring it in general. But that's mother of mother's territory, apparently. Again, I should have read more <laughs> about what I was doing. But uh, yeah, this I think is a boss area. This is travel. Um, I'll maybe explain what I did over here, but I probably won't. I forget what I put that marker there for. Huh. Well, I'm not going to go find out, though. Let's see the red man. Let's see him. Let's see the red man. Try me, red man. Do it, boy. Really, do you now? Ain't that wacky. Hey, it's the Ferris tree. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That Yes, that was the best thing I could come up with, given the circumstances. All right, you really shouldn't expect much of me. What do you think I am, an internet comedian that, like, tries to make funny jokes? Uh, you know, let's not think too hard about uh, what I qualify as. All right. Okay. You ever get the feeling that you just ought to shut up sometimes? I never get that feeling, personally. It's just not something that occurs to me, but yeah. You know. Hey! The Quicksilver! Ah. It's been a while since we've all seen Nascimento. Not that I'm going to make y'all see Nascimento. That's not something that uh, was without completion at this point in time. Hey, there he is. I'm going to talk to him now. Anyways. With that, I'm going to be leaving it off. Have a wonderful week, my fellows. Like, comment, and subscribe, or I will hack you limb from limb and uh, do various things with the parts. Nothing bad, of course. I mean, nothing any more bad than hacking up a person limb from limb. I guess there isn't too much worse than that, but, you know, nothing too, too bad, you know. I'm not a sicko. Sheesh. Yeah, you know, I, I think you're the one that's sick for even thinking it. Really. Like, TBH. SMH my head. Like, what, what do you think I'm going to do with a bunch of disembodied limbs? That's not even, like, anyways. Sheesh. Get your mind out of the gutter. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.